Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'll be sharing all my last minute tips on how to do well or to get A plus for your biology paper in SPM. So let's get right into it. My first tip is to watch YouTube videos in order to study biological processes. And this isn't necessarily a last minute tip, it's like a general tip. Whenever you want to learn biology, watching videos is definitely a good way to do it because in biology, there are just so many processes that we have to know and that we have to be able to elaborate on, whether in our body or for plants, for photosynthesis, light reaction, dark reaction. There are a lot of processes that are significant in biology and those are the things which will be tested on in essay questions. And essay questions, as you all know, is a huge part um, in contributing towards that A plus in biology. So if you can understand and memorize most of the biological processes in biology, then getting an A-plus in biology shouldn't be a problem. For me, I've always known that watching videos would help, but then I've never really incorporated it into my studies until recently when I've um, been watching a lot of videos on anatomy on, because I'm learning anatomy and you have to know about all the tiny parts in our bodies. For example, in this hand itself, we have like eight bones over here. And I actually found that me watching a 10 minute video is more effective than just reading from a textbook for an hour and the information is not going in. Instead of like trying to force information into your brain, you can have someone explain it to you. And we are privileged in this era to be able to access to YouTube and watch YouTube videos by professionals all around the world. So why not make good use of that? So what I do is I would search videos on a particular process that I want to understand and you can do the same, just search on the process that you want to understand. Um, maybe it's light reaction or dark reaction of photosynthesis. So just type that into the search bar and you're going to watch the video, but don't watch the video passively. You're going to take notes when you're watching the video, at least that is the way which worked for me. I find that watching videos passively won't help as much because you're just listening and you're not actively taking notes that just doesn't help as much as taking notes so, so the video will be playing and i'll be taking notes from it and if sometimes i can't catch up with what is being said i'll pause and then i'll write down and you can rewind it whenever you want to which is a great advantage because when you go to lectures the lecturer will just be lecturing non-stop and it will be kind of rude almost to interrupt him or her but with youtube videos you can just type back and and a great thing about it is you can learn a single process within 10 minutes. In a 10 minute video, you might learn more from what you are reading from your textbook for an hour if the information couldn't enter your brain, right? Just watch a 10 minute video and usually a 10 minute video will come around to 40 minutes. I would use around 40 minutes to understand a 10 minute video because I'm, I'm constantly taking notes on it and if there's a lot of stuff, then it takes more time. But 40 minutes is still better than an hour if the information could enter your brain and you can put it under your long-term memory. 